Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We've got a little pop-up privacy policy that'll load when your page loads and people can toggle it on and off. If I just refresh this page, I've got it on a two second delay and it's gonna pop in there. People can scroll down when they're done, get rid of it. And it's perfectly responsive. Really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any coding that I do, as usual, I give you a link to down below. You're welcome to use it how you wish. Well, let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. And I'm going to go down and delete everything we've got here and start from scratch. Okay, well, I've deleted everything there. Let's start by creating what we want to pop up. I'm using a privacy policy for this today, but you can use it for a FAQ, a contact form, any module you like. So I'm going to add a new row, a little green button to add a new row. Inside mine, I'm going to put a single column. Inside that column, I'm going to put a blurb module for my privacy policy. Now let's say privacy policy, funnily enough. Put what you want your privacy policy to say down here to get rid of what's in there. I'll paste in one that I've got here. I actually got this from chat GPT. I just said, make a fictitious privacy policy. It did a pretty good job. Obviously you want to read through it, make sure it works for what you've got going on. If I just roll up here, there's our little blurb module. Okay. I don't want any image or icon up there. So I'm going to roll down a little bit. Pass the text, image, and icon. I'm going to get rid of that image right there. I think I'll pop that in the middle. Just going to hit the little paintbrush to go to the title up there. I'm going to make it perhaps a little bit bolder. And we'll pop it in the middle. That's great. Now the row that it's sitting in, I want it to stand out a little bit. And I want it to pop up right in the middle of our page here. So to achieve that, I'm going to save my changes here. I'm going to go into the row, the green tab, so we can see it, or it's got a bit of definition. I'm going to give it a bit of box shadow all around so you can pick it out a little bit better. So I'm going to go over to design, box shadow. I'm going to choose this one right here. And as you can see, it sort of defined the size sides of our little row there. Great. Well, my privacy policy is way too big. And plus, I don't want them to be able to scroll it off the page. I don't want it to be here all the time. So I'm actually going to make it about half the size of the viewable screen, whatever screen they're looking on. And I'm going to give it a fixed position. So to give this a fixed position, I'm going to go over to the advanced. I'm going to go down to position, funnily enough. I'm going to change it from relative to fixed. I'm going to pop it right in the middle. As you can see, it's kind of over to one side. I've got a little matrix here. You can put it left top, left middle, left bottom. I'm going to put mine right in the middle, but I want it on top of everything else. So let's make sure it's got a background. I think it's actually on top of our elements there. But if you have trouble, you can slide up the Z index and get it on top of the other elements by making sure this Z index is higher than any other elements. Let's put a background in here and make sure. We can see what's going on back to the content. That's always where you'll find background. I'm going to simply give it a white color. There we go. That looks like it's on top of most of it there. We've got those blurb modules still showing through. So let's go back over and play with that Z index back to position. And I'm going to slide the Z index up. There we are. As soon as I put it up to 68, it came on top of the others. Great. Well, what I don't want is the fact that it'll stay where it is now, but they can't go to the top and they can't scroll through the bottom. We need to make it scrollable. So I'm going to save my row settings here. I'm going to go back into the blurb module itself. Now we've given it a fixed position. You may have trouble getting into it. If you do hit the little purple button at the bottom, we've got what they call wireframe view. This little icon on the left hand side, click on it. It'll take you to the back end. And if I roll down, there's my little blur module right there that we've been working on. Let's go in there. Once you're in there, you can flip back to whichever view you're working on. I'm going to make this 50% of whatever screen we're looking at it on. To do that, go over to design. We'll go down to sizing. 
I'm going to roll down a little bit to height. I'm going to type in 50 VH, VH for viewable height. So 50 VH. As you can see, it's shrunk down now, a bit more of a manageable side. That's great, but we've still got a bit of text falling out of the bottom there. I don't want to see that. And I also want to be able to scroll through this and see the whole of the policy there. To do that, I want need to enable scrolling. So still in the blurb settings, I'm going to go over to advanced. I'm going to roll down to visibility. And here we'll find horizontal and vertical overflow. The vertical, I'm going to change from the default to scroll. Now that's disappeared down there. And they've got a little bit of a scroll bar. They can scroll up and down the policy and see it all. I think I might give it just a little bit more space on the top and the bottom. Still in the blurb settings, design. You'll always find spacing under design. Down to spacing. Let's just give it 50 top and bottom. 50 picks. Hit the chain, it'll do the bottom too. Great. Well, that works for me. Now we need to make the magic happen because... I don't want this to be in front of the site all the time, but I do want it to load when the page loads, and we'll sort that out in a minute, with a two second delay. I'll show you how to do that once we've enabled the pop-up for it. So let's save what we've got here. And now I need to do a little bit of coding, and I've pre-written all this code for you, and I'll put a link to it down below. Unfortunately, I can't paste it down below because of the pointy brackets. So I'm going to add another new row. I'm going to hit the green button. Doesn't matter where you put this really. For this one, I'm going to use a single column. Inside the column, I'm going to use a code module. And there it is right there. Like I say, I've got all this code pre-written for you. I'm just going to copy it all and paste it in there. And we've got a little button there. And just go through a little bit of this code. Here's the button. I've made it an elegant themes PB button, so it's turning up in my colors, whatever the default colors you've got set for your Divi button. It's got an ID, CSS ID of toggle button, and that's what it's saying inside, toggle element. I'm going to change that to privacy policy, or just privacy, I think. Let's capitalize that P. So to make this appear and disappear, we need to give it the ID of element to toggle. So I'm going to copy that without the little inverted commas there. Control C. Let's save my little code module here. We'll go back in. I'm going to do this on the row itself. Over to the advanced. That's always where you find CSS IDs and classes. CSS ID. I'm going to paste it in there. There we go. So now this button knows to affect this row. But I want this button to be visible at all times too, so I'm going to put it in a fixed position also. So to do that, I'm going to go into the button itself, the dark tab. Over to the advanced one more time. Down to position. And again, I'm going to make it fixed. And it's disappeared. Hasn't actually disappeared. Let's make this a little bit smaller. It's actually up under my menu up there. If I pop it down into the middle, you'll see it'll appear here. Or down at the bottom left, middle left, etc. I want to put mine on this corner. Right now it's up under our header here. We've got some vertical offset. You can drag it down by using that. And I'm just going to drag it slightly away from the corner there with a horizontal offset. I'm going to increment up and down with the little arrows there until it's where you want it. And that will stay there. Okay, well, we're almost there. So when this page loads, that's going to be up there, the privacy policy. And then when they click on the button, they can hide it or show it again if they want to read it again. But I want a slight delay before this actually feeds into the page. To achieve that, let's go into the row itself. Again, the green tab. I'm going to go over to design going to roll down to animation. I'm going to select fade in. Once you do that, you've got some controls that will appear at the bottom. Animation duration by default is a second or a thousand milliseconds. That's fine. That's how long it's going to actually take to animate in or fade in in this case. Animation delay. Here we go. 
I don't want it to pop up till maybe two or three seconds after the page load. So let's say two and a half seconds to compromise, 2,500 milliseconds, two and a half seconds. Animation starting opacity is zero, means invisible. So it's going to go from invisible to invisible in a second. Ease in it out speed curve is fine. And I only want it to do it once. So let's just save that. At the moment, you may see some text spilling out down the bottom there. That's because we're on the back end here. It won't do on the front end because we've got our scroll enabled. But I want it perhaps to take up a little bit more real estate here. At the moment, a blurb module takes up a fixed amount. If we go into the blurb module itself, go over to design and sizing. It's given it a content width of 550 picks. I'm going to change that to say, let's say 70%, 70 percent, seven zero and percent. That's given it a bit more. And that'll make it more compatible with phone and tablet. And we'll test those out in a moment. So if we've done everything correctly now, this should work for us. Let's save our changes. And don't forget, you don't have to use a blur module. You can use anything you like to pop up here, a contact form, whatever. I'm going to save the page changes down below. Let's exit the visual builder. And two and a half seconds later, there's our little privacy policy. We can scroll down, read all of it. And when you're done, we can click the little button, make it disappear. If you want to read it again, just in case, click the little button again, it'll appear. And like I say, this will work on tablet and mobile too. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. If I hit F12, here it is on an iPad. Let's just refresh that again. And two and a half seconds. There's our privacy policy. They can scroll up and down with it. And of course, turn it on and off. Let's check it out on a phone. There it is on a phone. Same thing. They can scroll up and down if they want to. And they can hide it with a little blue button there. Great. So there you have it, guys. There's how to have a privacy policy on page load with a little toggle button. You can get rid of it. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.